Fun fact for you, only 15.2% of our matches in Power Slap have ended by knockout on the first slap. We'll see if Greenhall can up that number here in our first match of the night. Yeah, but you want to slap first. You always do. I don't care. If I win the coin toss, I'm going to slap first. You remember... Um, you remember when we started, there were a couple of guys... I know you're not a big NFL fan, but they would, if you oh, win I love the coin it. toss, some guys would defer to the second half because you want the ball to start the second half. Yes. You want to slap first all the time. 100% because you might get it, might get it done in one. On three. And you don't need to take a shot. But Greenhall left on three. Going Kill shot. Wide stance. He is a strong boy now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And that's the thing, Housley, he takes them so well. That was a good slap. Referee liked it. Didn't sound like the biggest impact, but Housley did, didn't even move. I mean, he did in slow motion. So there has been a minor rule tweak. Yes. We were getting a few too many stepping calls. So you are now allowed a slightly larger lift of the heel. You're still not allowed to pivot, but it used to be about an inch off the ground. You, you, you can come two and a half, three inches yeah. off the ground. Now no penalty will be called. Right. With a measure, right, on what? That's your measure. All right, here is Cooper Housley, his first slap of the first round. Oh, oh, man. Man. That was a flinch. That was pretty bad. Blatantly obvious, to be honest. Yeah, you, you saw it right when it happened. And of course, he has the choice right, to slap here. again now. And of has anybody turned down a free slap? I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't think so. You wouldn't slap me again. I would love to slap you. Now, we have seen broken hands due to flinches and people having to repeatedly slap over and over. When it's just the move, you miss the target, you're hitting the head, which can really hurt the hand. Oh, oh he felt that one. Let's see if they're going to call that a clean blow. Good slap. All right, good slap. Here we go. Moved ever so slightly, but he got away with it. And Housley did a nice job keeping the feet absolutely planted. Not even a minor heel lift there. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. Speaking to the, to the guys this week and the girls, of course, a lot of them putting a big emphasis on landing clean blows, not committing fouls. There's a lot more to it. You can see... Greenhall trying to gather himself a little bit. That first one rocked him pretty good. Mm. Recover. With a measure, left on three. Fight down. All right. So once he gets into the box, the clock, clock stops. Fight down on this. Two. Oh. That was good. What? That was good. good Granite chin on Housley. I thought yeah. that was a nice shot. Well, we spoke before about the athletic prowess, the power that he has in the weights room. And you can see the discus training there as well. Swings it through, absolutely perfect. We heard the impact. And Housley, I mean, yeah, initially, not a good look on his face, but didn't move. He's like, he's like an oak tree. <laughs> Last in April against Stevie Ray Payne, who was built like a brick shit house. Oh, there you that go. That's the words I was looking for, yes. like a brick shit house. And all Cooper Housley did was knock him out in the second oh my round. God. That was his last fight. And it was a bad knockout as well. Oh. oh. Another clean blow knocks the cotton out of Greenhall's ears. And if, I feel like Housley picks up steam as we go on. Well, same last time against Stevie Ray Payne. Landed a good shot, kind of measured, found the mark. And then in round two, put him to sleep. Now, Greenhall obviously took that shot. Still conscious, still on the feet. But if you ask me, Cooper Housley has won both rounds so far. So on Bisping scorecard, 10-9 both rounds for the young man from Aiken, South Carolina, just outside of Augusta, Georgia. 
and he is doing exactly what he has done in his last two fights. Won his first fight against Lorenzo Florian, when Florian was DQ'd. Stevie Ray Payne down via knockout against Housley. Housley on the receiving end here in round three. Greenhall needs this one. Yeah, he does, because he made his debut against Dwayne Crespo, the Iron Giant. That's a tough first match. And Cooper Housley, keep an eye on this name, because so far he's doing incredible. Just shakes it off again. Oh, he's wobbled. Uh, he's wobbled. Uh, see how smart that was by Housley to just stop moving. Yep. Stand still. Get your wits about you. Don't rush over to the chalk stand. That's, yeah. Don't try to get up too quickly if you get knocked down. We've seen that so many times. Just stand there for a minute. Yeah, but look at Mark Smith. He's keeping a close eye on these guys, staring them down. Housley shakes it off, though, as you say. But then as soon as he started walking, you could clearly see the impact was felt. Nice job by our catcher to make sure he uh, didn't take an accidental step off the stage. A tumble. All right, here we go. Right, Potentially right the one. third Let's and final it. strike of the round. Let's see if Housley goes for the knockout. He's going on one. Ooh, a little low. Five, yep. Two minute injury clock. That could be big. If that's a, if this is a 10-8 round, right. which it is, one, yes. one. you're looking at a draw. You're, he's gone from one, a win one. to a draw. One. One, 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 one. But, but again, as we said before, you've got to follow the rules. You know what I mean? You try and generate so much power. All you have to do is touch him on the chin. Just touch him, just ever so slightly slap him, and he would have got the win. But he tried to go for the finish, which I appreciate and I respect. But I think it's going to cost him here. I think as we progress in this sport, we're going to see guys take a little juice off in the third round if they know that they already have a one. I know you never want to go to the no, judges' no. cards, but I mean. But that's the hard part because, you know, you've just taken the slap. You want to get revenge. Of course. And that's the whole, you know, the controlling the emotions, trying to deliver a, a powerful slap, obeying the rules. Again, people watching at home, you think it's very, very easy. But it's, I mean, that was a pretty. I mean, it was right on the neck. He, on he the missed neck. by six inches. Wasn't even close. Oh, well, that's that's unfortunate if this doesn't work out for Cooper Housley because he did such a fantastic job eating those shots and then delivering blows. And if your scorecard is correct, we're looking at a potential draw here. All right, here's the first round. Yeah, so Housley took that really well. Got off to a quite a decent lead. As I said, I had him up two rounds to nothing. And then just good round two there. Greenall came back, good technique, feet right on the ground, a lot of power followed through as well. And as we see there, Housley landed really well. So I guess though, you know, listen, that's only on my scorecard because Greenall did land a good shot in round two. You never know, perhaps the judges gave it to him. So I guess we'll wait and see. Well, it's a 10-9 must scoring system. So round two cannot be tied. You see that neck on Housley, very red. Yeah. I was just going to say, you can see the finger marks on the neck. And Greenhall, the damage done there with that low blow. Robert Trujillo, his coach. And uh, Damian DeBell, the coach for the blue corner. Mm. It happens, though, Cooper. It happens. You know, he said it's on him. And I do think, Bisping, as, as guys get smarter and more knowledgeable about the sport, right, you just take a 50% shot and it goes in the books as a win. Yeah, but with the greatest of respect, I don't know how you miss the face and hit the neck. You know we've, what I'm saying? We've, we've, we've seen it a lot. I know. No, I know. It's it, That's what I mean. To me, it's just surprising. Yeah. The official decision presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order as we send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Camillo scores a match 28-28.
and Judge Weeks scores about 28-28, and Judge Miglior scores about 29-27. This match is a majority draw. And there you have it, that last clubbing foul cost Cooper Housley the victory.